Hi, I'm Katie, your safety trainer, and in today's video, we'll be talking about cybersecurity and cloud security. Have you ever wondered how companies are able to access and share information so quickly and efficiently? Chances are they're using the cloud. The cloud has become the go-to method for data sharing and storage among companies in recent years. But with its increasing popularity come some concerns about security. After all, the last thing any company wants is for their sensitive information to fall into the wrong hands. In this video, we'll dive into the different types of cloud deployments, potential threats to the cloud, and most importantly, how to keep your company's information safe and secure. Don't worry, it's not as daunting as it may seem. Let's get started. Have you ever wondered what the term the cloud really means? Let me give you a quick rundown. The term pertains to servers that are situated within data centers worldwide, which you can access via the internet. These servers contain all kinds of software and databases, such as email providers, file storage, file sharing, and data backup. Isn't it amazing how much you can do without ever touching a physical device? It's all thanks to the magic of the cloud. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. Did you know that there are many different options when it comes to setting up the cloud for your company? It's true. You could go with a private cloud, which is completely dedicated to your organization and its needs. Or you could opt for a public cloud that's run by an external vendor and shared by multiple organizations. Want the best of both worlds? Well, a hybrid cloud might be the answer for you. This type of setup combines both private and public clouds and even includes on-premises legacy servers. And if you're really feeling adventurous, you could try out a multi-cloud setup, which involves renting virtual servers and services from multiple external vendors. The possibilities are endless. Depending on what type of cloud your company has chosen, you may have different service models available to you. One option is a software as a service, or SaaS, which allows you to access applications hosted on cloud servers over the internet. No need to install applications on your computer. Alternatively, Platform as a Service, or PAAS, lets you pay for your own tools to build your own applications, while Infrastructure as a Service, or IAAS, offers your company server and storage rentals from a cloud provider so you can build your own applications within a cloud structure. Lastly, Function as a Service, or FAAS, breaks down cloud applications into smaller components that only run when they're needed. With all these different options available, it's best to carefully consider which service model is best for your company's needs. And with help from your cloud provider, you'll be sure to find the perfect fit. Just like traditional computing systems, the cloud is also prone to threats and potential security breaches. Some of the most common threats include data breaches, misconfiguration and inadequate change control, insufficient identity or credential access or key management, account hijacking and insider threats. Other threats include insecure interfaces and APIs, weak control plane, metastructure and applet structure failures, limited cloud usage visibility and abuse and nefarious use of cloud services. The good news is that awareness is key to preventing these threats from becoming a reality. By understanding the risks and implementing proper security measures, we can all safely take advantage of the benefits of cloud technology. In basic terms, Cloud security means protecting your cloud-based data, applications, and infrastructure from cyber threats and attacks. It sounds complicated, but it's actually quite simple. 
Cloud security uses technology, protocols, and best practices to ensure that your information is safe and sound. So if you want that extra peace of mind when it comes to your data, cloud security is definitely worth looking into. When it comes to your company's cloud activities, it's important to take security seriously. While companies and vendors share responsibility, there are things you can do to help minimize the chances of something happening. First and foremost, make sure to use multi-factor authentication in accordance with your company's policies and procedures. For more information, see our cybersecurity, phishing, multi-factor authentication, and passwords lesson. Additionally, create a strong password and do not share login credentials. It's also important to only use applications you have authorization for and to only download or use applications that have been approved by your company. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to speak with either your supervisor or IT department. If you receive suspicious emails or encounter any issues, please do not hesitate to speak with your supervisor or designated IT department. We always want to make sure that our system is secure and safe from any potential threats. Additionally, it's always good to double check that data is backed up according to company policies and procedures. If you ever have any questions about data backup, please do not hesitate to reach out to your supervisor or designated IT department. Lastly, make sure that data is encrypted in accordance with your policies and procedures where applicable. By taking these steps, you'll be able to help ensure the security of your company's cloud activities. As more and more companies turn to the cloud for their data and application needs, it's important to keep security at the forefront of your minds. With shared responsibilities between companies and cloud vendors, it's crucial that everyone understands their role in keeping valuable information safe. Don't fret if you're not sure what your specific role is, though. Be sure to lean on the cybersecurity procedures and policies that your company has in place to ensure you're doing everything possible to minimize risk. And remember, if you ever have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to your supervisor. We're in this together. That's all for today's lesson. If you like this video, look for us on social media. And remember, stay safe out there. We control plane, metastructure, and app. Mm. What is what is this? What is that? Apple structure. For more information, see our cybersecurity cyber, cyber fishing. Cybersecurity. <laughs> if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to speak with you. <laughs> Lastly, make sure that data is encrypted in accordance with your... I'm oh, sorry. I, I said it right and then I was like, oh, this says our, but it's me that's supposed to be our.